Hello everyone I welcome you back to my channel today we have with us a very special guest and a very special topic especially for third year mbba student but also juniors like first year second year can watch this video to know more about third year and next so we have with us none other than dr ruchi rai ma'am ma'am is one of the best ophthalmologist faculty in our country as of now she is a senior ophthalmologist and author of review of ophthalmology currently she is a part of prepletters dream team next faculty also ma'am's way of you know teaching of ophthalmology across the years of experience have really helped students score great marks in their competitive exam we welcome you today on this platform ma'am and we are very grateful for your time for this podcast thank you so much dr akshar and thank you for that very sweet and humble introduction thanks a lot thank you ma'am so ma'am today uh, our motive is ki uh, via this channel we reach out to the students who are currently in their third year or starting their third year because right now exams are almost over for uh, many of the colleges so our motive will be to guide them about third year preparation with respect to next or neat which is right now not very certain and how they should approach the curriculum so uh, if you suggest we can start with the questions ma'am yeah please do. Sure. So, when third year is usually the time you know aspirant starts to get serious for NEET or next prep, what would be your advice that how should a third year student you know approach their curriculum? Okay, so uh, Dr. Akshay, first of all, what I really feel is that even third year is late now. To be very honest, so if you look at what is going on and what is the trend, and if you are a serious competitor, we have to start even early to that. right so what i feel is that by the mid of the second year one should already start planning how to and start planning about preparing for the entrance exams right and by the end of the second year i think we should have a concrete schedule and all logistics set and we should be ready to get started now you may ask me why i am saying so because generally when students have been selected the first you for yeah that okay i am now in a medical college and i am going to be a doctor i think first year is that time when you enjoy wearing your coats and all as well right and suddenly you are told that okay now you start again for the competitive exam so that's why i am not saying uh, you will they may not you all may not be liking what i am trying to put it here but think like this that the more early we start the more peaceful our mind is and the more positive our mindset will be why because we are always at a better place when we started right so anybody who is starting early will always be ahead so that is why i stress on this that start planning from the mid of your second year right you already have big subjects in the second year and you know initially i used to really empathize that okay the students have to study so hard not only in mbbs and you have to actually plan for your pg entrance and all and it's very very tough but what i realized and that is also because of the lot of feedbacks and mails that i get from the students maybe your seniors and all with so what they have told me is that it is these exams are help these these courses and are actually helping a lot in the university exams so i realized joining a platform or studying along or or starting very early is actually helping you not only to make the base very strong think yourself what what whatever we are teaching is like a tailor made notes for you all for every each and every subject so isn't your life being easier now isn't it so i just realize that actually it is becoming simpler with this these uh, resources which are available so your teacher on the study table you are studying some concept you are studying on it by from your textbook and then you have that crux of it in front of you isn't it so i think it's uh, it's very important to start on in time right right definitely ma'am as you suggested that you know starting early one advantage is the better planning because it's very obvious that once you start your journey you will commit mistakes and then you will end up wasting time in whatever wrong approach you followed so that you can have some time to you know correct it and move forward with better uh, strategy so now ma'am in on the similar note like you said there is a euphoria in a first year mbba student that they are finally going to be a doctor so someone who is not able to focus on studies the way that that they did during their neat ug times how do they get that motivation spike because pg entrance is a very long journey and not a one month or two month examination so you know i'll just speak on three words right passion courage conviction so that is very important to understand here that 
we all when will you feel demoralized when either you're not following your schedule or you feel really tired studying or you feel why we are always studying not doing any masti right why we are not so what 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 are the things that you have to keep in mind is when you are planning you should have that passion ki no once i have selected this career i have to go till the end and there is no looking back so the more you are complaining the more you get discouraged so first of all always check yourself never complain about where you are because believe me you are still the cream of the society okay and you can do wonders in for your life and for others you have a lot of opportunity secondly i have very strong conviction it's very important to be determined it's very difficult you study today and you are ba- you are it's never up to schedule when we used to study again it would be are ye chhut gaya wo chhut gaya isn't it so what is very important once you are able not able to do and you feel you cannot put your determination continuously go for a three day challenge what is a three day challenge okay i could not do this again i will take a challenge maybe this time very small duration three day let me try to finish take it again take it again so never giving up attitude and trying to understand that it is not only me everyone is facing this and we have to fight it together Right. you know here i really want to paraphrase a very renowned world philosopher dr daisi koikeda he says when you are really determined every cell and fiber of your body is going to orient itself to achieve that goal and the moment you think this can't happen i'm tired i can't do this immediately all those cells deflate so you realize where is the power is within you and here state of mind so please be very positive stick to your passions and continue fighting right amazing ma'am i think that's a uh, surely a great motivation spike that should last long for all the aspirants and you know they should also get the idea to keep it going in uh, all the circumstances so ma'am uh, in the recently conducted neat pg exam how did you find the pattern how was the pattern according to you uh were it more of a clinical oriented more of an integrated or more of one liners pyq heavy whatever your suggestion will be for you know uh, upcoming aspirants see first of all you all have to remove the phobia of that word integrated right. it is one of the best way to study and it is only going to make you very wonderful clinicians whatever branch you take right first of all is this and it is very simple what is integrated what is integrated is nothing but we are talking about one topic and we are going for anatomy physiology its pathology its clinical features treatment this is it doesn't it make things simple it is nothing and when you talk about okay your question was about the last year exams i found it both you know both clinical and it was not if i take ophthalmology clinical oriented basic knowledge if you have studied even the notes properly you can absolutely answer all the questions right it is clinical oriented but that doesn't mean we are going to ignore the one liners because they can just be a part of your options right okay they can be part of your options this is the most common cause this is a, so it's nothing it it has to be a whole soul approach where we have to know the facts as well we have to have the concepts right and there is no use mugging up if your concepts are not clear you will not retain even the one liners you right. understand so so we have to understand this thing very well that when you go like when you clear your concepts everything is simple so the answer for your question here akshit is that both are equally important so when i'm taking my lecture and i'm teaching i keep telling the students this is a queue this is a double queue why do i do that right so one of the students asked me also ma'am but now the one liners when you go you just look at the paper i can still see the one one liners which is the most common cause of blindness in india wasn't that asked last speech mm-hmm. so everything is asked it's not like that and if you will go to the uh, if you if you take a question from maybe case of fisher ring which was asked even in inct where they, you had to mark which is the wrong statement so again the facts were very helpful so it's nothing like this so i would say we have to take both together right okay. 
I think that's a great piece of advice, ma'am. Ki uh, once you need to first of all understand that integration is a piece of art, so it's not something that you need to out of the way to start learning the process. And then ultimately, you should have a balance. If your concepts are strong, then you can also you know mug up the facts in the way they should be learned. So I think that's a really great advice, ma'am. So uh, as we are concluding towards the session, uh, we would like to you know first of all know a little bit about ophthalmology more. That you know how should a student student see ophthalmology as a subject in their third year mbbs integrate it with their clinics and what should be the learning points ki acha matlab this much should a student should know in their third year okay you see uh, generally if you are trying to ask me about what the student should know in the third year is this your question yes yes ma'am amount of question everything you have to know from your third year no <laughs> no uh, in the clinical in the clinical aspects in the clinical aspects of course there are more common and we always focus on commonest cases which your opd is filled with isn't it so we we, we always take the basic uh, cases that is all what is going to be our simple like elision cataract glaucoma generally nothing more is asked but what is very very important is that from that time onwards once you start studying the notes if you start picking up my notes because again it will help you all immensely in your mbbs exams as well you you know what happens generally i'll tell you the trend when you are in mbbs and you are studying in your third year and you are coming to fourth year third year is only oriented to pass through these subjects because yeah. you consider it small. We, we did the same thing it was only because i loved ophthalmology i was getting both gynae and ophtha i said i, I love ophtha so that was a very different scenario it's all about personal interest but what i'm trying to tell you here is ki when you are talking about your third year the earlier approach was just focus to pass because the major subjects are medicine surgery definitely they are they are the majority major are the medicine and surgery but we have to realize that being a smaller subject and getting a substantial number of questions in your entrance also right so you have to be serious from day one right and the course is going to really help you to go forward in this Right. and even from the teacher side i don't want to point out this but even in medical colleges the i point they are taken very coolly and they teach in a very very uh, chill way you understand just because you know nobody is very serious for these subjects so right. but the trend has to change because now and even in the next pattern where you are not going to get 60 questions in ophthalmology you right. really need to know this subject we cannot ignore and anyway we are all here to help you all for this right so yes that's what the point ma'am ki uh, you know student should be enthusiastic regarding third year subjects and all uh, all the subjects especially ophthal also and uh, in the clinical scenarios also in their clinical postings also you need to also show up that you are interested in learning the subject so that way it also becomes easy for the faculties to coordinate so ma'am uh, as we are approaching towards the end one golden advice for any student who is watching this be it first year second year or even an intern that you wish you have not shared till date or something which everyone should know about okay uh, have you all uh, heard the name ubuntu akshat have you have you have read this word ubuntu so it's uh -huh. an african word okay it means it means i am because we are okay great okay. so the interconnectedness of life right so what advice i am trying to give here is go for group studies maybe you pair with one friend maybe you are playing with two or uh, you are you have three three of you together four of you whatever it is so what you what you will see is it is really going to make your journey enjoyable also you support each other also and you can really go through that very well right this challenge will become a lifelong memory for you all at one point of time today it may be feeling very difficult to cope with but it, and i'm trying to make that memory even more pleasant by suggesting you all that because you know that self centered approach okay, i have to do i have to do i want to come this i don't want him to know this her to know this this approach you will not grow right okay and it is going to make you comfortable happy you're always in anxiety okay. competition doesn't do this it is always good okay let us both or all of us really do very well in the exam so right. when you have that support system with you you find to be in a better place Right. right i think this is a very valuable advice ma'am which uh, even you know many of us might be facing right now also that any time you start studying at your own and you know trying uh, trying to maintain that zeal becomes a little bit difficult 
but if you have some partner or maybe a group then it becomes easier to you know chit chat the way throughout so i think that was really something which is uh, very much essential uh, thank you so much ma'am again for your time and i hope the viewers enjoyed the session thoroughly and guys if you have any other queries you can surely connect to ma'am on all the platforms her social media handle as well as on prep letter thank you ma'am for your time and we are again blessed for this thank you so much stay blessed all of you keep smiling thank you